If you could just like transfer your beard to me, that'd be awesome. Beard will be really spicy. That's what I said. <coughs> it just explodes Corey, in your mouth. Corey, we're white people. You can't do this to us. Oh, mm. sorry. I hang out with too many Koreans. Welcome to the podcast, you fucking Koreans. I saw wow, him. that was really racist. I'm sorry to all my Korean friends. <laughs> I saw him do it too. I did too. I know you did. It's just it's an accepted thing now. It's a good thing to have like a cold. I should eat first before I speak. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the podcast. All right, guys. Well, uh, I guess the first thing that we should say is that this is going to be a special podcast uh, because it is spring break. Woo! Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. I'm gonna take my top off. You already did. <laughs> Preston has his pants off. And it's dangling. Yes, his feet are dangling. We're two halves of a naked man. <laughs> With our powers combined, <laughs> we make something really creepy. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we're having a special episode today because um, what we're doing is we're actually going to be breaking up uh, this podcast into two parts. Um, one, because uh, we're going to have a special guest coming down uh, later this week. So Patrick? We're gonna... <laughs> Quit getting your hopes up, man. <laughs> yeah. It's better than Patrick. <laughs> At least she participates, but you wouldn't know because you don't check the Twitter, you motherfucker. I don't. You fucking asshole. No. You had one job. I, I one lit- fucking I job. I literally had one you job. You literally <laughs> had one fucking job. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're actually going to break this up. Um, today we're just going to do uh, the news section and uh, one other section, but a new section. Uh, entitled the spoiler alert section because a lot of shit went down this past week. So much shit to talk about. So we will let you know this. That'll be at the very end of the podcast. We'll say, you know, we're about to start the spoiler alert. Um, If you don't want spoilers on, you know, um, the topics, you can stop now. Um, Not now, though. Later on. Later on. (laughs) Yeah, we'll tell you. And then I will probably run to the bathroom and cover my ears because I don't know anything of what you guys are talking about. Well, that's it. Well, I mean, would it it matter to you? We're going to cover the How I Met Your Mother series finale, the Kill a Killer series finale, and then the season finale for The Walking Dead. Yes. I care about all those. (laughs) Really? Oh. You watch How I Met Your Mother? No. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm really delayed. Hmm. So I'm gonna be outside. Yelling, Me, I'm delayed as well, but I don't care at this point. I actually, I don't know. I actually, from la- halfway through last season, I kind of just stopped. Like, I was just like, just end. This season has sucked, and a lot of people hated the finale, but I actually liked it. I, gonna... I know a lot of people. Actually, I've heard the opposite. I've only known two people that don't like it, and a lot of people that do. Well, like I... it. we'll we'll get into that later. Okay. Um. So let's let's kick this off real quick. Uh, how was everybody's week? What's up? Uh, who wants to go first? Preston. All right, I, Preston. I worked, a, I worked a lot. Um, that's all. I mean, full days. I'm exhausted, as always. I say that like every single podcast. Maybe you should stop working. Don't, don't nice. try and like make an excuse for why you don't check the Twitter. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just lazy, I guess. Um, but yeah, hey, um, follow us on Twitter at um, handle <laughs> at... It's too late. EPC Preston, Nerdcast. It's too late. EPC Nerdcast. And we probably won't read your letter because Preston won't look at the fucking thing. God damn it, Preston. Also, you can go to our Tumblr. At, which um, we actually check. Which which we actually check. Sorry, you might have heard me burp there a little bit. <clears throat> um, eating a burrito. I think you um, can smell it through the damn audio. <laughs> you, can, you can check our Tumblr at uh, epcnerd.tumblr.com. And there you can go to our Ask Us Anything section and ask us anything. And as well to our Twitter and our Facebook. And um, we love you. And you're pretty. And... You know, I care about you. Hey guys, um, what's the login info for a Twitter? <laughs> it's the same thing for everything, but epic. It's it's at epic nerdcast, but and you know the password. Oh, that's right. Okay, and the the, the password is um uh, uh swanky sticks two thousand sixty nine. Oh yes, okay. How can swanky I sticks. Swanky sticks. Swanky sticks. And how do you spell swanky? Exactly? You know, if they know the handle, they can just put in um. Oh, I forgot my password. <laughs> And then I can get it that way. Oh, well, no, but they'd have to get into to the email. Yeah, wouldn't they know our handle anyway oh, if they were at our Twitter? Oh, yeah, we're good. I'm sure somebody on Fortran is hacking our shit right now. I don't if think anybody anyone... on Fortran actually listens. Yeah, does anyone really... Thought... If, if we do, please hack our shit because that'd be awesome. That means yeah. listen. <laughs> is it Fortran or Fortran? Uh, the American no, is, is Fortran. And I like to say it's Fortran because it's like I look down upon them. I like Fortran. Although you shouldn't look down. I don't like that it's .org. I think it should be .net. That's the way it's fortunate. But no, it's fortune.org. That's stupid. It should just be 4chan.org. 
evil hole of death. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. Speaking of 4chan, segue. Um, did you guys see? Did you guys see the Shrek animated thing? You sent it to me, and I look. I watched it for like ten seconds. And I was just like, "Why the fuck am I watching this?" Because it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, there is a 4chan like there like there's a, a famous 4chan screenshot of this dude like telling a story about how Shrek, you know, like he's obsessed with Shrek. Uh, you know, he loves him, but his dad comes in and hits him and tells him that he's worthless. And I guess that, like he's it's, supposedly, it's like, like it's like the Mudkips thing. Yeah, exactly. And so apparently he's like, apparently he's like 10 years old when he, like, at the time the story's happening. And so after his dad, like, hits him and leaves, Shrek appears in his room and then starts having sex with him. And then he starts talking about, oh, it hurts my butthole, but I want to please Shrek. And so someone, <laughs> someone took that screenshot and animated it, like, it, like in the, uh, the Valve engine, right? Or, or so. Uh, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Steam Source or whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So they animated in that, and it's just so creepy because you see Shrek just like behind this guy, and the guy's just smiling, and the story is really creepy. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I what saw... the fuck do you look up on the internet? I saw it because uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Philip DeFranco, posted about it. So it was just like, ha, hilarious. Well, besides Shrek sex, um, <laughs> how has your week been, Mary? Shrek? Shrek sex. Shrek, there we go. Shrek. Shrek's. <laughs> Shrek's. Oh, mouth is full of burrito. Oh God, that's never mind. Uh, <laughs> um, I've been doing good. I uh, like Preston. I've you know I've just been working, but we're on spring break. Woo! Um, Put your pants back on, Eric. <laughs> damn it, fine. Um, my birthday's a week from Thursday, so woo! April no birthdays, cares. yeah. Woo! That's me and Eric high fiving because we are April babies. Aries. That's Preston high fiving himself. Stupid. When's your birthday? What um, a chode. <laughs> I don't have a birthday. <gasps> he I was, was just kind of there. He wasn't really born. He was just kind of there. Um, like Jesus. Yeah, I just fell from the sky. <laughs> yeah, you mean the guy that works in our e-room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean when you fell from heaven, Preston? Actually, it was because somebody pushed him out of a plane. Oh. Oh. So you don't even remember. Hey, I'm Jesus. <laughs> well, yeah, my week's been... It's been okay. Haven't haven't done haven't done much but work and watch TV. Cool, man. Yeah. What about you? What's going on, Corey? I uh, literally did nothing. Um, I was just hyped for spring break. I got a lot of stuff coming up, so I'm happy about that. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I was um, up till about five o'clock this morning, skyping with our special guest um, in preparation for the show this Friday, and it's gonna mm. be awesome. Um, you ever Skype with us for preparation? Yeah, because I, I just don't like looking at this face. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, he pointed at me. He likes my face. No, I'm I, pretty. As long as you keep that beard, because if you shave it... Yeah, that's true. Mm. I have a baby face under this beard. You really do. <laughs> oh. it's, it gets kind of creepy. It really does. Do you guys... Did you guys but do with, you... The, with the beard and without the glasses, like... Like, yeah, if you take your glasses off and you don't have the beard, it kind of looks creepy. But yeah, if you have the beard on, it looks really good. And if you lower that eyebrow. This. Yes, lower. 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 Uh, her too no. low. <laughs> low. The other eyebrow. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> now it just looks like she has cerebral palsy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys remember those pictures from when we went to uh, Klebe's birthday? We were drinking at the I at wasn't the there. Oh, yeah. You were there. Those pictures of me look ridiculous. They look pretty awful. Terrible. That's it. I got too drunk that night <laughs> and i ended up sitting in my car for two hours really <laughs> oh you know what That's i funny. think the, i think the reason why i didn't go was because um i was actually downtown getting drunk on my own so. oh. <laughs> right, well, with, uh, with another friend so well, that then. Then happened um <laughs> so let me see what else did i do this week played a little bit more one-on-one um still hype train uh there were, okay there was the, the first time in this game where i got legitimately salty and fucking like raged quit it wasn't really rage code, it was more like, ah, I need a break. Like, like, there was this, like, uh, there's this moment where you only get ten of your wonderfuls. Mm. And, um, you need a minimum of ten in order to create any kind of Unite Morph. Mm. And, and I was like, well, fuck, and I'm fighting these two tanks with spike shields on them, and they're fucking blasting me, and I can't make anything because somehow one of my fucking wonders, like, gets knocked out, so I can't make anything. And <laughs> they got super salty, man. It, uh... It, it got me super salt. Um, That's I've never heard that expression used like it's, that. It's I'm a sure it's, it's a fighting game term. Oh. Salty is like you know you get you get like pissy. 
Huh. And you start... Um, there's another term called uh, Johns, because uh, the, the story comes from, uh, there was a guy, uh, his name was John, with quotations around it. I don't really, we don't, we're not sure if that's 100% true. But, John um, is a salty name, continue. Yeah, uh, he, I actually can find it into salty Johns, but a John <laughs> is somebody, uh, he, the, the original guy that did it would always make up an excuse for when he lost the game, like, oh, you only hit me because like, I'm not using my stick. Or oh. you hit me because there's lag, and like he he making excuses, and it evolved from like shut the fuck up, John, to shut up, John, to no Johns, and so now anybody who complains is a John, <laughs> and then uh, being salty is just like you're you're like pissed, like ah oh, fuck, like you know that sounds like a sailor. It's quite a legacy. Yeah, because it's like <laughs> like salt, like tears. Yeah, oh, I so see. salt. Um, I thought it's salt like sweat somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. On your, what? Ew. On your taints. Like smegma? On your on your no, fleshy like, fun oh, bridge. You because you usually go to smegma and it's kind of gross. Well, anyways, <laughs> I was gonna admit something, but I decided not to. Admit uh, it. When's the best? The best time to admit personal secrets is on a live podcast. Not on the podcast. We yeah. will do it after the podcast. Aww. Maybe if we get enough followers, we'll do an after hours podcast. Ooh. We'll all be in the news. We'll talk about my penis. I mean, you kind of do that anyways. It's kind of flappy. If you ask me, there's not much to talk about. Small joke. You're not Asian. What's that about presents? My dick looks like the fat that you cut off the steak. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. when it stepped on a rake. Oh, what? Come on, Lonely Island, man. I... I have it. Is that turtleneck and sweater? Or no, tur- uh, yeah, turtleneck and chain. That's the. Uh, I think it's the first track. And I haven't listened to that album at all. I, I recently just re-listened to it, and it's, it's it's pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> like I don't know why, but I fucking love um um uh, Mother Lover. Well, that was that, that wasn't was on like, their new album. That right? was my jam. That was on the, the no, album no 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 no. Right? Mother Lover was in Turtleneck and Chain. Really? Because that's yeah. been out like on SNL for like years before that. No but, no, no. It was on. It was on Turtleneck and Chain. Turtleneck and Chain is actually older than you think. But. Mother Lover came out way before that. I know that because it was an SNL skit it, with Justin it, Timberlake. Yeah, it it may have been on SNL, but it it was it actually put on the onto okay on the Turn Like and Chain. Cause I'm a mother lover, you a mother lover. Cause uh, the first on on on, on um on Incredible Bad, it was uh, uh Dick in a Box. Hmm. Yeah, 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 and then it was um uh it's okay if it's in a uh, three way. Yeah, three way with Lady Gaga. I think is on their newest three-way. album, which I actually haven't gotten. Hmm. Um. Uh, so on the other side of salt and, and going to fighting game stuff that I did, I actually got to uh, try out a little bit of the X Bone, um, oh, okay. just to play fucking Killer Instinct. Fuck, that is, oh the the resurgence of the fighting game genres here, guys. Hmm. Like it started with with Street Fighter Four, like revamping everything, and you got Guilty Gear coming out, and oh my god, this like this game was made specifically for for. For fighting game enthusiasts, like they got, they they literally went out and like, what do we like about a fighting game? Uh, they have uh, amazing animation, um, super fast. Uh, there's one thing that people always loved was in fighting games, like after you get the KO, you do multi hits afterwards, kind of like a fuck you, like a big middle finger at the end. So there's literally like you can go on YouTube and watch this. There are combos of these guys killing the guy, then doing a hundred hit combo afterwards, and then they have an announcer uh, screaming ultra. <laughs> like, like I think like a, I, I can't remember like the ratios, but like I think uh, a twenty hit combo you get godlike combo, and it's just like it's like the most aggro like announcer ever. And it's amazing. Every like every hit sounds great and. Um, real quick, the only thing I've been listening to on repeat is, uh, the theme songs. The theme songs are amazing. Hmm. Like, Killer Instinct has some of the best, uh, fighting game theme songs ever. My favorite so far, um, there's a character named Spinal, who is literally just a dumb Jason and the Argonauts-style skeleton. <laughs> with, like, cool. this, like, this stupid skeleton laugh. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> and it's just, it's so <laughs> awesome. I would, um, uh, I would recommend checking it out, because the theme song, um, borrows from like seven different countries like they all came together with unique music they even mm. have one section where they sh- like they went to tibet for this specific bone flute that's made out of a human bone mm. and it's laid over and it sounds like this super epic that's like creepy. pirates of the caribbean like oh it's, it's so good that's uh person creepy. i would suggest you check it out like, i think you might like it but it's, yeah. only, it's only for the x bone yeah which actually you know what it's to me it's all it's besides maybe t- Titanfall is actually not bad i tried that too it's, it's actually there, there's a lot more depth to it than I originally thought. It was actually pretty fun. It's a lot... 
to me, it's a lot more than just uh, you know Call of Duty mm. with uh, Max. Max. It's actually pretty cool. Mm. But uh, what's cool about about Killer Instinct is that every X bone comes with it. You get it bundled in, and what it is is um, you don't get the full game. What you do, what what happens is like every like I I, I, I don't know how long each character is out, but they give you one character for free or one or two characters for free. So you try them out. You say you like that. You like that character. The next month they're not free anymore, so you go and buy that one character, and hmm. you can play online. So if for like you guys, you guys, I mean, like you guys don't really play too many fighting games, right? You know, I have Mortal Kombat, and then right, yeah, right. But you don't use the full so... roster or anything, really, right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. See, this is good for people that don't do that because you can play the game without having to buy, you know, a sixty dollars game, and you're only using like three characters. Hmm. So it works out really well for people who are like casual. Um, fighting game people that want to kind of maybe get into it a little bit more. Hmm. So I don't know. That's, that's it's like oh my god! It took us this long to find out that that's like the, a great system to use. Hmm. Like yeah, uh, I can go on and on about Killer Instinct. It's it's so cool. But um, yeah, that was my week. Um, hype, yeah. yeah! <laughs> uh, you know what? It was also a pretty fucking crazy that happened over the fucking week. Um, moving right into news. So I guess uh. Oculus is now owned by Facebook. Oh, don't, don't get me started. <laughs> For two billion dollars, I'm sure everybody is, has seen this. But guys, can can I say like the first thing on all of our minds has to have been what why? the fuck? Why? Why would they? Why, well, okay, I guess you were why, you were what, and I was what the fuck. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so I mean, like, has anybody like been following this at all? I mean, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say intently, because, you know, I mean, it kind of, I mean, I feel like, I, I, see, I don't get it, that's my, like, the, the, that's, I mean, the, their thing is, oh, you know, mobile gaming is the next thing, but yeah, are you really I mean, going to have a, a headset for mobile gaming? Like, who's going to be wearing that in public? I, mean, I think they're just the saying that, you know, mobile gaming is, is the next big market, which it kind of is already, and they're saying that Facebook apparently has... Is the next face of mobile gaming, which uh, I, I don't know. Guess. About that. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but man, it's just so weird because, like, okay, so like John Carmack left uh, ID Software uh, last year, and then he started, you know, Oculus VR, right? Yeah. Because he wanted to do his own little side project, and he's turned away like deals from Microsoft and Sony, but not Facebook. But yeah, but then Facebook, like, like what? <laughs> Talk about selling out, like maybe, Jesus. <laughs> maybe Microsoft didn't offer him as much money. <laughs> I, I don't YouTube probably not uh, probably not I just like it's like man <laughs> I was just I don't know maybe <sighs> maybe he got sick of it maybe you know in his personal life he was just like all right you know whatever two billion dollars cut and run whatever yeah I don't know I just always felt like he was one of those like like um, notch uh, who like you know kind of stays away from you know mainstream huge uh, developers and stuff which is interesting because the second that John Carmack sold uh, Oculus to Facebook mm. Notch pulled the Minecraft bill that they had yeah. going for Oculus because he was like no Facebook <laughs> is way too creepy I do not want my stuff up on, uh, uh, on something uh, run by Facebook well okay to be fair though people are going to be able to hack like they're going to be able to make it so Minecraft can go on the Oculus oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah but what's interesting too is um, I've been hearing that a lot of other developers are doing the exact same thing because they don't like the way that Facebook's run, and mm. they're like, yeah, it's like, it, it. I guess they're thinking that it kind of loses integrity. Mm. That being said, though, now this opens the door up for Sony's Morpheus, which was revealed at GDC. Yeah, like, they're saying that ago. Morpheus is the everyone's lost hope with Oculus all at once, which kind of fucking sucks. Yeah. And because I'm really disappointed, I'm really really disappointed because I thought Oculus was gonna be like the biggest biggest thing. Yeah. Now people are, everyone's hopes are put on the Morpheus. Or Mo- oh, yeah. Mobius. Morpheus? Mor- I think I think it's Morpheus. I I think it's Mor- If only we had Google phones and we could check things out. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sadly we only have our iPhones. <laughs> Is it Mobius? I don't know, but yeah, hopefully but I mean if that's the case though, would it only be for PS like PlayStation? If it's just if it's from Sony? Like that means we couldn't use it for, for, for PC gaming and the X Bone people would be lost out. I mean it would only be for Sony PlayStation and that would kinda suck, right? If you, I mean... Not necessarily. I mean, they could always license it. Okay, no, no, it, it is Morpheus. Morpheus is something else. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it is Morpheus. Um, yeah, it's, it's called Project Morpheus, yeah. Okay. Um, actually, well, I, I thought... I'm, I'm still not 100% sure that's going to be the real name, because it was the rumor name going into GDC, but then after GDC, um, 
It, it was it was announced as Morpheus, so you know. I mean, it could be the same as like uh, remember Project Natal. Project Natal, yeah. Yeah, for, which became Connect, which then became you know, fuck you, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, Facebook. When when they took over Instagram, I feel like everyone thought, oh, Instagram is going down the shithole, and it didn't. Okay, Instagram well, the thing afloat. the thing is, those I those are within the same sphere of social I media. Know. What is more like the, you, the Oculus Rift is not. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. We so we don't know how they the, how what they'll do with it. You know, we have they haven't they haven't like done anything or gotten any like licensing for something on this scale and like in this industry. So we'll see. Maybe you know maybe they the won't fuck it up. The only problem that I see with this is, oh god, now I'm gonna get virtual like like Farmville and like all you know because like there's so many of those Facebook games that people play I, like that I just like I don't like them I keep getting spammed by them and it annoys me to shit I think that it, they can it will be used for Facebook games but they I think they know they won't make uh, nearly as much money if they use it solely for Facebook I think well, they'll still be said, good I think um, maybe they're just they're taking the rights off the table um, like the developing rights just so that they can have it, you know. Oh, uh, maybe. Um, but I mean, also, that kind of raises the question, though. Like, do you think Facebook is trying to bring out a console? Because Amazon is actually bringing out their own console. Are they? Yeah, they I are. hadn't heard that. Yeah, they're they're buying a lot of uh, development studios. They bought Double Helix, which is the team that does Killer Instinct. That's why everybody's like, "What the fuck?" Amazon, interesting. I think yeah. the console market. This is not the time to get into the console market because people are going towards PC gaming, especially with the resurgence of Steam. Well, maybe that's the way they want to because they see other consoles are well, dying. I mean, I, mean, like, I, mean, okay, I think the only now. thing that would stop that is when the Steam box comes on and everything becomes a Steam box, I think the the, the market will level out. Because, um, uh, what was it? I think it was uh, the Ouya. I think I heard that the, the, the second Ouya coming out will be able to handle Steam. I could be misquoting that, but uh, I think that's what I've been hearing. But again, like once everything becomes a Steam box, you might see it balance out a little bit from you know getting away from PC, and I think that the people who are faithful to PC that know of the performance will stay with PC, whereas um, you know now people who are more casual, I guess like me, that don't really PC game, I can now play you know Steam games on my console, mm. which is you know cool. Yeah, I you know I, I like using a controller too sometimes. Like I I don't know. It's yeah, actually cool. Dylan just um uh reworked his PS4 so that it could work on his uh, on his laptop. Wow, that's so awesome. He's, he's playing and he's, he's like, oh, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, that's, so he's playing, he's playing like a shooter game on his laptop, like, but with other, like, <clears throat> PS3. Like, say, if he was playing Call of Duty, but he's using his laptop. No, 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 he's using, um, I'm, I'm sorry, opposite way around of that. He's using his PS4 oh, controller, controller on got his, it. Got on it. his uh, laptop. I tried it, I couldn't figure it out. I got, there was this, there was this you software. You have to get certain that, drivers and stuff. There was this software that said, oh, you have to download it. I was reading the forums, I was like, okay, and then as soon as I did, I got a virus from it. I'm like, well, fuck, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> Alright, screw you, world. Big middle finger, it's a PC Gaming Master Race. Purist. <laughs> PC Gaming Master Race. I was gonna PC game, I was just gonna PC race. game with a controller, because, like, my eyes, like, fucking hurt when I'm so close to a screen, so <laughs> I'm like, I wanted to get some, I don't know. God damn it. Hey, look, hats. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's, uh, let's see here. Um, Follow us on Twitter. Say... Handle EPC Nerdcast. Uh, why don't we continue with the, the gaming uh, news? Um, so a couple of announcements uh, came out. Um, we have... Uh, there, okay, this was actually announced a little while ago, but it finally got a release date. Um, Alien Isolation. Now, mm. this is following the Aliens franchise, so, you know, Ripley and whatnot. But this is a game? Uh, this is a game huh. uh, that is coming out on October 7th. Hmm. Now, what this game was, was... Okay, so, like, the last one that we got, Colonial Marines, was pretty Ooh. bad. It was terrible. Um, this one is going to be a little more interesting, because the storyline follows, if I recall, uh, Ripley's daughter hmm. uh, goes into space... And uh, it's going back to like kind of like the original Alien movie. There's going to only be one Xenomorph, and think like Dead Space. Oh, all like right. That, that's the style that it's going for. But if so it's... it's not so much emphasis on shooting, but um, but you know, playing with this environment, having this thing stalk you. It kind of sounds more like uh, uh, fucking um, oh, goddamn. Like like, just... vi- like visually, what they're going for is like like Dead Space. Style. <clears throat> 
I, the plague kind of sounds like a fucking descent. Um, fuck, what's God damn? Amnesia. Thank you. Yeah, wow, yeah. It's like uh, it's like try and mix those two together, but yeah. add in a xenomorph. That, like, that's kind of what if you only have for. if you only have one monster, you'd have to be like a lot of running and hiding because you can't just like shoot and fight one monster every time. And I think it's it's like one alien. I mean, I mean, it's a lot of environmental hazards too. Like if oh. you're on a space station, I'm assuming something's gonna go wrong with the power and shit's gonna go f- get fucked. You might have to deal with um. Human NPCs, you know, like, you know how, like, uh, in the original one, Ash, well, yeah. no, well, not human, was still, like, a fucking problem. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I'm actually very interested because I was so just, like, like, there was a lot of hype going into Colonial Marines and it was just terrible. Mm. Like, uh, mm. it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, like, it's know. it's so bad that it's hilariously bad. Yeah. Like, people post videos about the glitches all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're fucking terrible. <laughs> and it's like, man, just, where's where's my good Predator game? Like, my Assassin's Creed Predator game. Like, where's that? Like, I would oh, love that, man. Speaking of which, a new Assassin's Creed uh, game has been... Um, France, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Is it France? Yeah, yeah. it's like Revolutionary yeah. France. Yeah, yeah and people yeah. responded with a fart. Because <laughs> it's like... Uh, people, I think people are waiting for Project Osiris, which was rumored to be um, Assassin's Creed Egypt. Which, fuck, that would be awesome, but yeah, it looks like... Cool. I think Egypt? it looks like we're going, like, forward. Why Why would Egypt... I mean, it's a lot of flat land. I mean, besides um, the, I mean, the pyramids, yeah, but... Oh, uh, the cities would be cool. I mean, and then, uh, again, again, you could argue the same thing with um with America. Yeah, but then we have the trees. I kind of yeah. like the idea of going through, like, I just think that Egyptian it's, bazaars. Yeah, I, oh, oh, wait, did you say Russian bazaars? Egyptian Re- bazaars. Oh, I thought you said Russian, I'm like, what? Because, interestingly, that was another um, name they tossed around was, like, you know, running around the Kremlin. Hmm. You know, and oh, off, like all yeah. stuff. that'd be cool. But I like Project Cyrus. From what I heard, was like fucking amazing because people like broke in, and like looked at some shit, and then they heard from like a guy testing it. Like it's one of the best things they've ever created, which is really cool. Hmm. Um, another name uh, that is, I think this may the, the final game in this one or the one that they're holding on to is either going to be China or Japan. Because hmm. I mean, that's what people have been screaming for. It's like, where's my ninja Ezio? Like, <laughs> ninja anyways. <laughs> yeah, I mean they. Assassin's Creed 3? I think that was the one with... Um, the Pirates? No, no, no. No, that was 4. That's that right. was, uh, uh, Connor. Three was a, and, Connor, uh, yeah. And, uh, they really dropped the ball on that well, one. What, that what was happened was, it's because y- they put it out so quickly. Like, it was, like well, they, the turnaround for it was pretty what? crazy after the after Brotherhood, right? Or what, what was the last one? Revelatons? I think so. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, I think they followed the new industry standard of, oh, pump this game out like you know the yearly game and they could have spent a lot more time patching it and developing it a little bit more the developers i remember hearing an article where they were so so rushed and that they were like each and every developer was just really disappointed by the see that's ex- and that's exactly why i have um this is making me appreciate nintendo a lot more is because they still adhere to the no we're gonna release it when it's done mm-hmm. and when yeah. you have a a glitch it's like holy shit like Damn, that's crazy because you know this has been playtested to hell, and they've spent so many years like tweaking it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can certainly see that polish when it comes to the Smash Brothers games, and they're not coming out with that anytime soon. Yeah, I heard. Um, I heard. Uh, I, I heard it might get pushed back to 2015. Seriously? Oh it god, damn it. Be. That's the only reason I'm like I would buy a Wii U is yeah, for that yeah. game. So uh, I would I would say wonderful one on one you motherfucker. <laughs> Ninten- I, Nintendo's dropping the ball with my consumership. I just got. Oh, uh, and actually, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Tropical I, I just I was about to say I just got that. Yeah, that was fucking got it. awesome, dude. It is. It's so beautiful. Like, it, oh, dude, did you get this, the, the 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 you got to the Savannah part, right? I am. Where it looks like the fucking Lion King. I'm on the second world. Oh fuck! It's so. I haven't got it, it, yet. it looks like the Lion King. The music is amazing. Like god damn, it's awesome. It's really pretty. It's really pretty to look it at. It is. Um, and very uh unapologetic and very uh yeah like punishing i die so much like like the first boss the very first boss is this asshole sea lion fucking guy and yeah he killed the shit out of and it 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 gets to that point where it's like you do it so many times you die so many times you try doing uh, the the section over again and you die on the easy parts because you get so like (laughs) like laissez-faire about it yeah i'm not even using that term right you get just so like like Oh, I don't need to worry about this. Fuck, I just died on this part. Like, well, that's awesome, fuck. though, because it's it's a throwback to the original Donkey Kongs. And if you ever played those on the Game Boy, yeah, yeah, they yeah. were hard. Well, I was going to say on Super Nintendo. Oh, I played, on, I played on the Game Boy. But yeah, oh. they're the same game, just a port. 
Yeah, and well, this time you can also be Cranky Kong, which I really like. You could be Donkey. Donkey. <laughs> the, the announcement for that was like, I think man, it's hilarious. No, well, th- when they announced that on Nintendo Direct, everybody left out of like they let out the biggest fart. Well, <laughs> like, <it's> like what? <laughs> That's what you're giving us? Well, I mean, no Smash. No, who gives a shit about Cranky Kong? I mean, if you if you had announced Cranky Kong for Smash, that would be super interesting. That'd be cool. But well, why, like? They gave us, but they give you Donkey, uh, Dixie, and Diddy. So I mean, like, yeah. Like, why do you need Cranky? Well, that, just to have a fourth, like, just why not? Why would you need Cranky though? Just like, he, like he's, he's, not, he's, he's, like, why it's, not? It's okay. Here's my argument for that. Toon Link. Why the fuck do you need Toon Link? He is exactly the same as Link. Uh, for Smash, he, he, no, he's, he's, a, he's he's faster. He's faster, but not by much. And I, then if I you prefer want, Toon Link over Link. Yeah, yeah, you can you could do that, but. Honestly, like, Toon Link is such a wasted slot. You could use that for so much other... Like, the biggest complaint was, like, why would you put Toon Link in when you could have put Little Mac in? And now that Little Mac is in, everybody's fucking happy. Um, now that... But Toon Link, again, got reannounced and everybody's pissed. Why? It's like, why not take, I, I don't why think not everybody's take him pissed. out? I would take out regular Link to put in Toon Link. Toon Link's better. You could say the same for Cap. Yeah, no, no, but, but it, it, what you're doing is you're doing a copy slot. That's why they changed Ganondorf. Like um, from from original uh, melee, yeah. Because he's he's literally just slower Captain Falcon. Nobody wants that. Everybody, you want variants. You mm-hmm. want variants within your characters so that you have uh, each character be unique. I am like, glad like, they got rid of um, Pichu. Like, <laughs> yes. so glad they got rid of yeah. Pichu. <laughs> like, like <laughs> Luigi has gone so much farther away from Mario. Oh yeah, it's awesome. he's, he's his own character. Yeah, Luigi's um, better. Link, uh, Toon Link. All you have is you're just faster. It it's not ver- That's not a lot of variance, and it's a very like. Like, dude, fucking put in Midna. Midna riding a little wolf link? Mm. That'd be cool. Or, uh, fucking put in Bayo. Or, ah. Uh, there's so many, like, new IPs that, that Nintendo can put in because of, um, because of the Wii U getting, like, you know, more exclusive games and stuff. It's like, man, I want to see those. What about, um, what about Falco and Fox? I mean, Falco, I actually prefer and Fox. Wolf. And Wolf. Wolf, Wolf is yeah, drastically... Three. Wolf, they... Wolf has become... Different. I'm not sure if he's been confirmed yet for for Brawl. I feel like he may not be. He might. I'm I'm not sure. Depending on how big they're gonna make their roster. Um, but you got Falco, Falco, Fox, and Falco, Wolf. Fa- I mean, Falco that's... fights differently though. Like the the problem. The, no, no. The, there there are variances to his attacks. Whereas oh. Toon Link is literally he has the same attacks. He's just faster. Not literally. I mean. No, he he does. The boomerang is boomerang different. Is it, yeah. It is. And the bomb is uh, has a what I bomb's it's, different. I think it's a larger radius for the bombs. Yeah, but less damage. Yeah, but that's that's yeah. not enough to be a game changer with it. You can't you can't you can't mix it up as well as as you have with like Falco and stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just like why why use why get why have two link in there? It's like change it. Like give us something that's a, uh, if you're gonna do that, make it a like different. Ma- make him. You know, like Ganondorf is, you know, Ganondorf is getting farther and farther away from Captain Falcon. I think keep Toon Link, but do it like they do Zero Suit Samus, where you could be Samus or you could be Zero Suit or you could be Link or Toon Link. Like, well, just, actually, I, you know what I would say? Put in like put in Tetra instead of Toon Link. Put Tetra in. There. That'd be really cool. No, but like as a variance to Link, like Samus is to Zero Suit Samus. Like you could be Samus or you could be Zero Suit Samus. Same, I mean, same but, slot, but, but I mean, like, like, what's the point of that? Unless because some um, players like well, okay, okay. Uh, what I was gonna say, they want to be how, how about this? Why, why don't um, uh, why don't you just use uh the uh, uh why well, can't I remember last Zelda game that just came out? Use uh, Link Between Worlds Link and then change him up so that he kind of like plays with the you know going through walls kind of thing, or, or going on the walls. That that would be that would be a welcome change for him. I don't know. I have no problem with it. I say keep Toon Link. Hashtag keep I, Toon Link. I, I think it's a wasted slot. I say keep everybody so we can have as many players as possible. Even bring back Pichu? Uh, bring back <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo. But if you, but if you put Mewtwo, it, yeah, they are bringing back Mewtwo, I thought. Are they really? I thought. No, I haven't no, heard. I haven't, I, heard I, haven't, I haven't heard anything. I think a lot of people have been wanting him back. I like him, but... They um, Lucario. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of yeah. like Lucario a little bit more, but... Actually, I take that back. Kind of, I kind of like... Mm, I don't know, man. I have to, I have to play melee again. Um, Mewtwo is just really floaty, like a little too floaty. He's and he's uh, one of the slowest uh, characters, right? Well, yeah, for melee, but you know, they yeah, like make him fat. I don't know. I prefer him over Lucario. I didn't. I never liked Lucario. I don't know. I was pissed off. Like, why Lucario when you had Mewtwo? Why not just make Mewtwo better? Uh, because Lucario L- Lucario was the flavor of the month at that time for everyone. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. True. Blech. yeah. Blech. Blech. Make Blech. it a Mega Mewtwo. Like, get a Mega Mewtwo evolution, or I guess maybe. Give the, give the give the Pokemon Mega Evolutions for like their Super Smash. That'd be cool. 
Um, I well, I mean, like, you, the only person that would have that would be Lucario. Hey, I think too. Lucario has it right back. been confirmed. Do we have Pokemon Trainer back? Uh, we Ooh, maybe. should be getting him back. I, I, I don't know. I, I have to recheck up on my, uh... Yeah, because then you can do Mega, Dojo. Mega Charizard and all that. Yeah, maybe that, that would be his, uh, his final smash. That'd be pretty cool. I, I would see be. that. Super Mega Evolutions. That would be. Okay, uh, let me see here. We have a little bit more uh, game news. Uh, Do you guys like um, you, Preston? You like Deus Ex, right? I do. No, I've never. You played You have it. what? How do you have a Steam account and not play that? You. I. What's wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, I. Did you play Deus Ex too much? God, you got. It's it's a ah. <laughs> it's made by Square Enix. It's fucking cool. It's cyberpunk. You've never ah. Oh, you no. need to play fucking All right. Deus Ex, All man. Right, Corey. Well, they have a sequel coming out. Um, well, Deus Ex well, Machina. Sorry. Uh, Mankind, Revolution actually. No, Deus Ex uh, Mankind is... Uh, or Mankind Divided. Mm. That's the name. Uh, is has been trademarked in Europe by Square Enix. And, uh, man, it... Uh, I'm surprised that you and, like... Cause you've watched, like, Blade Runner and shit like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I read the book, and the book was terrible. <laughs> so the book's, what was, what's the name of the book again? It's, um, do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to Android's uh, Dream of Electric Sheep. Yeah, yeah there, there is a... Um, Interesting. There, there is a uh, thing on Facebook where it's like, what if movies were actually named after the books? Like, the, the books that they come from? Yeah. And it's just, like, so weird to see all these, like, different names where it's like, yeah, that sounds terrible. But, um, yeah, it's very steampunky, very... Uh, not steampunk, uh, cyberpunk. Fuck me, not... Fuck, fuck steampunk. Oh, you said steampunk. I was like, really? I yeah, didn't fuck, know fuck that. Steam, I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck steampunk. Fuck me. Um, you not a fan of steampunk? I, I mean, back in, like, high school, I thought, that's cool. And then I saw people dressing up, like, that's stupid. So I, now I, I'm... I, I, uh, I like the steampunk cosplay. I, uh, I like the look. Just, yeah, me too. There's Actually, too much of it. When you have a gear on a hat that does nothing, it's fucking stupid. You know what? Like, I, like make, do something that... Ha- like, if you're gonna, you know, have a design, have it be functional. Huh? Like, when, when it's just gears on stuff... Well, it's like those jackets that have zippers that lead to nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking hate those. Like, it's so stupid. <laughs> I prefer the actual like housing decorations versus the costumes. Oh, like there's some really cool oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. tricky trinkets. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean that. they're cool. It's just like I don't I don't like the fashion just because like a lot of it is just like there's not, like why the fuck is there a gear on your hat? What 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 is it like? Is it power your brain? Well, not all steampunk means gears. Like there's a really cool steampunk. Website. I'm not just saying that's like the biggest yeah. example yeah, that yeah, I yeah. see. Like, I got my Dr. Horrible costume from a steampunk website, because it's like a mad scientist. Yeah, stuff. did you get red or white? Uh, white. Okay, you got yeah. original then. Yeah. You didn't Hell get yeah. like uh, evil, the, after evil. Like, yeah. No, what, before Penny's killed, beforehand. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> that should have been later. Okay, Doc, okay, If you haven't watched Dr. Horrible, I will punch you through this microphone. I I'm have... very violent today. Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. I, no, dick punch! Just kidding, just kidding. I Still it. dick punch! I loved it. It was a, it was a good... It was a good Movie. We're gonna need to edit that. That was really loud. <laughs> dick punch! Dick, dick punch, punch! Dick punch! If we ever have our own fighting game, that's punch. Corey's special move. Dick punch! Dick punch! No, the uh, fucking um uh Makoto from uh, Street Fighter. Her 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 uh, super and her ultra are. It starts out with a punch to the nuts. Then a bunch of other punches. Bunch back to the nuts and then a fucking uppercut. <laughs> like and like she's like supposed to be like this karate girl and like that's that's her thing is this straight up punch to the nuts first and then she beats the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm rocking Preston. Oh, well, that, that kind of makes me disappointed that you guys haven't uh, sorry played Deus Ex, but sorry, sorry mom. It's it's really like man, the the concepts for it are really, are really cool because it's like you know augmentation of human beings and the separation between being human versus um you know losing yourself within your augments and uh I I, I would suggest anybody out there to to yell at these fuckers to play it and play it yourself. Sounds a little like Ghost in the Shell. Uh, if I, you like Ghost in the Shell, you would fucking love it. I miss Ghost in the Shell. That was, a, that was a good one. Yeah. I just remember as a kid, um, they had it on, uh, Toonami. one of the, well, not, well, yeah, they did, but, um, and I didn't really, like, like, I was just like, oh, it's just a, it's just another animu. But, um, there was, a, a movie channel that played the movie, and I remember, like, that girl's naked. She just ripped her arms off by trying to take the top of a tank. I like this. <laughs> I uh, I was talking to my buddy um, who actually who uh, runs the podcast, the Midnight Marinara one, the one who does the creepy pasta, David. Mm-hmm, right um, right. His sister apparently watched uh, Ghost in the Shell, and there was that scene where like like he like like I, man, I forget all the names, but 
takes the takes the person's head off um, and makes them watch as they skin her. And like apparently, oh, apparently yeah, yeah. that made her his sister flip out, like like dr- like draw like like traumatize her as a kid. So now oh, like oh, no. I bet. she I can't bet. she can't watch it. And she yeah she she like hyperventilates <laughs> even thinking about it. I, like, I shouldn't laugh, but that fuck <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that's therapy right there. Yeah, so yeah, it goes in the shell, causing kids to have meltdowns. Well, well, if they're <laughs> gonna have meltdowns for anything, it goes in the shell is all right. Yeah. I mean, like I guess now. Uh, the more accessible one would be like t- Attack on Titan because there's some shit that's pretty fucked up. Oh yeah, seriously. But uh, well, I mean, it's even more fucked up in the manga, but like it's pretty fucked up in the anime too. But it's it's done really well. <laughs> God, we need more Attack on Titan. <laughs> my uh, one of my friends, um, if uh, if you guys remember, it's the guy that I was doing the Frozen choreography to. <laughs> yeah. that I was doing with him. Uh-huh. Um, he's actually uh, he's a dance major and he he has a show coming up that he invited me to and his big hook was. It's Attack on Titan theme. So he's got like, they're all dressed up in the uniforms. And I was like, dude, I'm fucking there. And he's, he's, uh, like, he's like, oh, guess which, which person I am. And I just immediately went Connie. And he's like, yep. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Do you, have, Preston, have you watched? I uh, need to. I haven't been in Oh, haven't you know what? Okay, okay one thing that I, um, that I forgot to mention in my, like, what I did. Uh, I just rewatched the, because of Kill the Kill ending. Mm. I rewatched the entire series of Gurren Lagann and wow, already? Fuck! Like it, it took me like three days. I watched a shitload, mm. and then I've watched the movies too. And this is actually uh, the first time that I watched the movies, because uh, what the movies do is they're two movies, they're about two hours long each, and they condense the entire series into like those four hours. Mm. There's some things that they take away, but then there's also some things that they include. Like there's extra stuff, which is really cool. Um, I would say watch both, but oh my god, the series of Gurren Lagann. Uh, it, it just reminded me how fucking good it is. The English dub is terrible. Don't watch the English dub. It's terrible. It just watch the subs. But like, I mean, like, have you have you uh, started watching yet? Uh, I think I've watched four episodes now. You need to watch the sub, and oh my god, you, like, oh, it's so good. Because I, I, man, like, I remember everything that happened to it, but the ending to Goron Logan. In comparison to Kill a Kill, Kill a Kill is so tiny in comparison. <laughs> Even though it, like Kill a Kill was fucking epic, and we'll get into that later, Gurren Logan is just like you feel everything. Preston, what do you it's think? So good. I, 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 these are all words to me. <laughs> you, you need to watch it, dude. Like it's, it's not long. It's like twenty four episodes or twenty. I watch, watch Attack on Titan first because I think that's something. I you'd would like say more. no. I would say differently because Gurren Logan is an older one. But I think. Preston would like Attack on Time more. Um, I I think you would, but I would say I, I, again, this is the order that I think you should watch it in: go Gurren Logan, Attack on Titan, Kill a Kill. Are these all in the same universe? No, 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 no. no. Oh, then there's actually no order then. No. Okay. Well, but I, I would say in terms of what animes you need to watch, because Gurren Logan is done and complete, watch that first, absorb all that, and then go into, into Attack on Titan. Because if you time it right. By the time the, the second season of Attack on Titan comes out, you'll be done with the first season, hmm. and you can roll right into it. And then um, Kill a Kill, you can leave on the app on, on the back burner for a little bit. Um, How but, do I watch this? Uh, they're, they're, the one that I go to is Kiss Anime. Like they they have all of the uh, like all the series that we talked about. Um, yeah. They have like really good subs of them. So go on Prime really Wire. Cool. Attack on Titan's on Netflix. Maybe that's true, but easy. it's only like a couple, like like one or two episodes. Oh, really? Right? I thought it was a whole season. Well, really? Wait. Oh, you just you just Google any of these. You say, oh, watch you know English sub this anime. And you yeah, find I, I would suggest okay. so just go on Kiss Anime or Crunchyroll if you want. Or Crunchyroll. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, another one uh, that I just. I'm sorry, I watch a lot of anime. Watch fucking. What are you? Ho- what are you Asian or something? I dude, because <laughs> of Attack on Titan and because of uh, Gurren Logan, I I really have come back into it. Because before I was like. Man, fuck all this bullshit. It's all the same as stupid and lame <laughs> anime shit. So I stopped watching, but now I'm way back into it. Uh, there's a uh, an, an anime that I followed from a manga, uh, Hajime no Ippo. It's a boxing one, and fuck, it's so good. Kind of, kind of sounds like uh, that anime, Hasadinga Ibowai. Oh, no, wait, that's 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 Book of Mormon. God bless Hasadinga you. Hasadinga <laughs> <Ibowai>. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. No, that, that was I. I had no idea what you were talking about because I still haven't watched a book of Mormon, but I'm pretty sure that must have been hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. I'm ah, just... God, I I can't watch. It's so expensive to go watch. I really want to watch. Yeah. Uh, but Hajime no Ippo, like, if 
I, I'm not sure if that's your guys' thing because it's a it's a box it's a sports anime. Uh. Very, it's super epic. Like holy shit! Like earth shattering punches. The only sports anime I can think of is that like King of Tennis one that was on. Two, or Prince like, of Tennis. Prince, Prince of Tennis. Tennis, was on, like, tennis yeah. was on I would Network. say. Um, yeah. uh, I would argue Ice Shield. Ice Shield Twenty One is like. If you didn't read that in high school, you missed out, man. Because that was just like the penultimate, like build yourself up. Like oh, that was really good. Um, hmm. But yeah, uh, the the finale of Hajime no Ippo is really good, hmm. and is it a good good job of translating the manga into the anime? Because sometimes there's that it sucks when that happens. Like like when I mentioned I showed I showed kind of I I thought it kind of sucked in the anime, <laughs> whereas in comparison the manga was way better. Hmm. What's that board game that you skip stones and you turn everything from white to black? Uh, 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 I don't know. Not um. Because there's a manga about that. You mean uh, you mean uh, Hikaru no Go? I don't know. Sure. Go. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, that's, it. Uh, that, that's not what happens in the game. You're thinking, like, you're thinking of two separate games, but you are. I, I'm pretty sure you're thinking of Hikaru no Go. It was on Show and Jump. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah. thinking of Hikaru no Go. That is not how you play that game. Oh, <laughs> uh, Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that, oh, uh, interestingly enough, that's the same guy that did Death Note. <laughs> oh, really? Right. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I... you can tell by the art styles, but, like, it's just so, so different. It's like, you know, the shonen manga about, oh, you know, playing pretty much Japanese checkers. <laughs> and then you have Death Note. <laughs> so, you know. Do you guys remember that, that anime that was based after that card game? Um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. That was going to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you mean, like, every other one? <laughs> Yeah. But, like, like, dude, the fucking manga didn't even have anything to do with the card game. Like, the original <laughs> really? manga, that was only, like, a couple of chapters, and everything else, like, revolved around, like, just games in general. Like, Yuki, yeah, and y- Yu-Gi-Oh! was such a fucking, like, like he killed people in the manga, didn't he? Didn't, like, or yeah, made them, like, yeah, like yeah. brain dead? Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, there, I remember in the original manga, uh, the one that doesn't really have to do with the card game so much, like... There was this one where they had um, these little fighter monsters. We actually, I mean, like, you can kind of see them today. They're like, uh, you had little figures, and then you, like, spin, like, a dial, and they kick each other and punch each other, almost mm-hmm. like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Uh-huh. But this one was, like, you can actually, like, use punches and kicks, and the guy was a cheat, and um, he made it so that his soul was embodied into the figure that he had, and his guy just punched his face off <laughs> and literally killed the guy. I was like, fuck. Jesus. That's y- dark. Y- Yami Yugi is fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, and then, then it gets sanitized to hell when it comes to America. Yeah. America. America. Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. Come Getting again. all the censored anime, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. In Attack on Titan, uh, or not Attack on Titan, uh, the Gurren Lagann movies, uh-huh. um, in the, the original series, there's, a, there's one moment where, you know, it, this happens, but then in the movie version, they just, the, the girls are naked, and you see tits. Oh, cool. And the reasoning behind that was because... Um, when Team Gurren teamed up with uh, the animation studio Gainax mm-hmm. for the for the film, they're like, uh, Gainax actually went, oh my god, this is like the this is turning out to be the only film where we don't have any nipple showing. All right, we'll add it into this part. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's fucking hilarious. Well, they know nine. what we like. Oh well, no, let's watch the movie. I like boobies. <laughs> um, fucking, this was on How I Met Your Mother on the finale, and I don't want like it's not a spoiler. It's just like a line that Barney had. We're just like, Ted, who am I going to high-five uh, if I see, like, like a, a tiger fighting a dinosaur? Or, even better, who do I high-five if I see boobs? <laughs> that, my god, tiger fighting a dinosaur? But then boobs! It's fucking <laughs> awesome! Oh, man, whoa, 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 we'll splooge about that in a second. Let's do one last bit of news okay. that I'm sure you guys have seen. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I am actually uh, really hyped for that because I love the redesign. It's so different. Yeah, Megan actually, Fox is a That's that's the one uh, thing I was like fucking bullshit. There were so many other names you could have chosen. Michael Bay, you know she's a bitch. You fired like, yeah, her. That's the thing, why like, the like, fuck? Why did you hire her back on? I don't know. Like but like they had names like they had Emma Stone, they had Mila Kunis lined up. It's like I think Emma Stone and Mila Kunis would have been a great April O'Neil. Yeah. Like Megan Fox, really? But, um, that aside, the redesigns for the turtles look pretty cool. I actually like them. Like, they're, they're actually ugly. And yeah, I like that. It's, it's, and, and the thing is, it's like they look like... A mutant fucking turtle. Turtle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it's cool. They have bamboo armor. So, and, and another thing that's cool was, um, 
I don't know if it comes to fruition, but way back last year when they announced this, um, there were talks about that they're going to turn them into um, aliens rather than being a uh, genetic mutation. Oh, oh yeah, that's Which, right. I mean, that's right. it's just like, that was uh, the, okay, that's that was the weird. It's, taking... it's a new take. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. But this one, it does. But the trailer didn't really show that, so it's like, are the, I wonder if they're running with it or Hopefully if they're gonna. Hopefully not. Michael Bay and aliens, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, if anything, he can bring a very explosive. Uh, I think vibe to it. I think it just there was this one part where they're rolling down the hill and they fucking one of them smashes into the back of a car, right? Mm-hmm. Like that was pretty cool. I was like, damn. Here's what I should do. Or right, here's what here's what I think we should do. Mm-hmm. Is I think we should. Ask or, 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 or make a, uh, a tournament for our listeners if we have any more than Carrie. <laughs> this will actually see if we actually do have any listeners. <laughs> um, to guess the correctly the amount of explosions that will be in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the closest the person gets to the closest like amount of explosions. Oh my god, how are we gonna measure that? <laughs> I we'll have to just like tally it. Like just tally yeah. Then then we have to set up rules like like do is explosions that explosions count or do they count as one big explosion? <laughs> um I, what constitutes an explosion? Does a firecracker constitute I an explosion? I guess just any visible explosion. Uh, yeah. What about a smoke bomb? Does that count as an explosion? No. It's well, it's well, it's 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 you'll know. <laughs> it's a Michael Bay explosion. Michael blah, blah, blue explosions. <laughs> so I think, I don't know, if someone can correct, guessly correct the amount, I don't know, give him like a gift certificate or something. Guessly correct it? Guess. Guess Leslie corrected. <laughs> Correctly guessed. You fucked up. You fucked up. Oh, hey, look, a ceiling. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what? Well, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm. I'm actually looking forward to it. I, I will definitely watch it. Uh, the last, the, actually, the the TMNT movie that came out like what 2005, the CG one. I think that it was, was actually later really that. good. I, I really enjoyed that one. Hmm. It was a great reboot of the series. I, that was cool. I, I I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. I don't know. I was in the middle about it. I remember hating the video game. Hmm. Oh, was it what, not Battle Nexus, or, or are you talking about the the actual one? No, the the, the TMNT, the movie, the game. The game. Okay, the, yeah, okay, um, yeah, yeah. It was it wasn't that great. Because hmm. I'm a motherfucking TMNT, and what, what? what you heard about me? That's Is that fun. something? I don't know. No. I'm okay. Tired. Well then, let's. Why don't we wrap this up? Let's go into the spoiler alert section. I'm gonna, spoiler alert. So I'm gonna go and pay my bills outside. <laughs> Hi, Preston. I, I can't. I I I don't. I, but I need to watch and. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. I mean, we're gonna go into pretty heavy spoilers. I'm just yeah. gonna gush. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, cause I have some questions about how I met your mother. Cause like, I honestly. It sucks to say that I used to love High Adventure Mothers. I don't really this care about the This last season, finale. for the most part, has been So, like, bad. I can, like, you can spoil it for me all you want. Like, I'll, I'll actually want you to do that so I don't have to really go watch it. Okay. And I'll probably watch it later. The season's but. been bad. I heard that the finale was, like, everyone was like, the feels, which I yeah. think is such a stupid saying, but. I like, I, 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 I had really the know. feels. I, I drove. We'll kill the kill, we had the feels. I, I decided to, like, be late to work, which actually I wasn't, because traffic was really good for some reason, but I was oh. like, I'm going to just be late to work and watch the finale, and then driving to work afterwards, I was just like, so, like, intensive, like, inner thinking about, like, yeah. taking it all yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's how uh, Gurren Logan makes you feel, because there's, oh, it's, it is really powerful. Mm. I would, you guys need to get on that. Like, I, like I think you got the the hype train is still there. Go watch it before you miss it because it's 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 one of the best animes to have come out in a while. And I, I it really is the anime that is responsible for for getting me back into all these really good shows. Mm. So go watch it. It's fucking amazing. Mm. Um, so Preston, we are about to start. I'm gonna go on my walk now. All right, man. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler okay, alert. so guys, um, well, real, you know, why don't we say goodbye real quick to the people that aren't gonna listen? Uh, thank you guys Bye. for listening. We'll, we will have this up uh, sometime later this week, and then we will be recording on Friday with a special guest. And just uh, so you know, this sounds like we're ending it, but we're not. We're gonna just go. We're into gonna spoilers. do spoilers, but, but like, you guys... like for all the people that don't want to partake in the spoiler. You know, section. Goodbye. Uh, yes, goodbye. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, follow us on Tumblr. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us in general. I like friends. Also, well, we're, we sh- we're not gonna guarantee that Preston will look at it. Also, we're uh, <laughs> we're gonna upload a playthrough or a, a playthrough. Right? Oh yeah, later today we're gonna be doing a playthrough. So uh, a let's play. Yeah. So, oh yeah, let's play. So yeah, look forward to that. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it'll be a uh, very meaty in terms of content. That sounds super. Yes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Oh, I We're get about it. To start. We're about to start spoiler alert.
Sorry for kicking you out of your own apartment, I'm Preston. Gonna, I'm gonna go take a walk around the block. Okay, we'll get we'll we'll, we'll wait about like thirty seconds. <laughs> we love you. One, two, three, four. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, wait, hang on. Just wait a couple seconds. I'm whispering in your ears, man. Whispering in your ears, man. Lord. <laughs> sucks a lot of dick. So which one should we talk about first? Um, all right. You want to talk about, uh... Kill the Kill, Walking Dead, How I Met Your Mother. Let's do, uh, uh How I Met Your Mother. All right. So, How I Met Your Mother. This entire last season has been terrible. Terrible. It has been the the entire season has taken place within three days. At, and, oh wait, wait, real quick. This is your takeaway from it. This is my takeaway. Like, like, yeah, let's preface this. This is okay, your takeaway. This is, we don't want to like. This is my opinion and most people's opinion. So, <laughs> so this whole season was three one weekend shoved like the entire season into one weekend. The Barney and Robin wedding. Right, right, right. And you, you told th- me this. And you think. Like you, you think that's gonna that's you know that's gonna matter. There's you know there's gonna be escalations and there's gonna be like there's gonna be like something's gonna go wrong and nothing really does go wrong. Like like the wedding, like they get married. Like Robin has this. You meet Robin's mom, which is cool because she was oh, like yeah. the last mysterious. Yeah. yeah. So and then there's this really great like. Okay, do you know the theories of how I met your mother? Like the theories they've had. Were like, uh, I don't know any of the the more recent ones. There have uh, been the things that like Ted has. Um, has uh, ah, fuck with uh, dementia. There has been theories that the mom. Oh, is, the, yeah. <laughs> the theories that the mom is dead. Um, the theories that um that that uh Ted and Robin are still gonna end up together. You know all those. Yeah, things. yeah. Then the theories that you know Barney's uh, sister, which they completely debunked. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I, I actually I kind of like that theory though. The theory. Wait. The, I I like the uh, the the Barney what? sister. Uh, theory. What was the theory with Barney's sister? Because we met um, her, we met her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That th- that episode debunked yeah. everything. Like, like it, it was straight up an episode meant to debunk it. It was that um, the the mom is actually Barney's sister because there was like oh, mentions of like Barney's sister that was in been college. Interesting. Uh, the reason why they call him Uncle Barney is because he's literally oh, an uncle. And I was like, that's a cool idea. Yeah. Like I would have really been... liked that, but like I'm like, huh. oh, oh well, I guess yeah, but happened. yeah, they didn't, yeah, they didn't do that. So, um, they, so there was this great moment with Robin's mother that they set up that um, uh, alluded to one of these theories that made uh-huh. the uh, internet just have a shitstorm. And that is, um, this is a flash forward and Ted is talking to um, the mother, whose name is Tracy. They they, they, they gave her name at okay. the very end. It's Tracy. That... Which goes that, with that, you know. I think that 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 I'm I'm not even mad about that name. That name uh, no, actually, name. there's a reason for it because in the it was either the first or second season. There was a moment where um, there's a stripper named Tracy, and then Ted tells his kids, and that kid's oh, having right, your right, mother, right, yeah. right, 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 right. and they're like, "What?" And then so yeah, but yeah, so they kept that, and that's cool because you know they they you know the high your mother's creators being uh, fluid with that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So there's this great moment where it's a flash forward, and he's talking with Tracy. And then they're talking about um, Robin's mom actually making it to the wedding. Uh And then Ted's like, yeah, what kind of mom misses her daughter's wedding? And then he starts to, like, tear up a little bit. And then the mom, like, rubs his shoulder. Uh And that kind of like, oh, why would he tear up? Does that, like, is the mom missing, going to miss the daughter's wedding? Is the mom dead? Because that fuels that theory. Right, well, Ted's mom or? No, no, the the mom is dead. Oh, the mom. The theory is is that the mom is dead when he's telling the kids the story. Wait, wait. He's he does he physically say he's tearing up because no, he just he's, he doesn't say. He just you could just see him like his eyes just start to water when he says, "What kind of mom misses her daughter's wedding?" And then she's talking to the mother, like his wife Tracy, and then he's just and then she's just like, "Oh, you know, it's okay, it's okay." And this and this this preludes because there's this moment in the seventh season. Okay, I thought you meant that um that Bob Saget is tearing up. No, no. <laughs> like, um, like, as he's telling his kids. No, no. Um. There's this like there's it's a flash forward with the actual Ted talking to the mom Tracy, um, and they're 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 just talking because okay, a lot it's, of, it's a flash forward yeah okay, in this okay, in this okay. season there's been a lot of flash forwards so you can see like their relationship in the future because I guess the How I Met Your Mother creators wanted to keep it the show leading up to at the very like end moment where they meet so the only way to give like preference to how their relationship is is to give flash forwards okay okay yeah okay. So, but yeah, so that fueled the theory that, oh, maybe the mom's dead. Maybe that's why he's crying because the mom is dead and, or she's dying. And like, if she's dead, maybe he's like in his imagination talking to her. And there's this moment in the seventh season where, um, you know, he, he, he theoretically, like this doesn't actually happen, but he says like, oh, you know, I wish I could have met you like right now, 45 days prior. So I had those 45 more days with Mm -hmm. you. Also kind of like eerie, like, like, wait, what does this mean? So the ending mother is dead. 
mother is dead when 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 Ted is telling the story. Interesting. Yeah, the mother had oh. been dead for six years by the time that Ted kind of, had that, started. That's actually a really good. Uh, it's a really good reference window for why he has to tell the kids the yeah. story. That's really cool. But yeah, and so you think like, okay, so like, if the mom is dead, why if the, if he's telling his the story about like about the mom to the kids, why is it so heavily preferenced on Robin? Because uh, because he ends up with Robin in the end still. Really. Yeah. This whole story. So oh, Barney. Man. So yeah. So Barney and Robin they set up. This is why people are angry, because they set up this whole, for the last few seasons, they set up the whole thing where they, they really say, Ted and Robin not meant to be. They hammered it in. They made it so, like, Robin and Barney are, like, meant to be together, and that Ted and Robin, Ted and Robin aren't. Fuck. And then they, I... make, then they make Barney and Robin get a divorce, like, into the, like, like halfway I into mean, the finale. Mm, like, they, they, three years later, they, they, they flash forward and, like, oh, Barney and Robin that, get a divorce. I mean... Man, that kind of makes sense with by, with their characters, but fuck, yeah, man, I don't give a shit about Ted and Robin. Yeah, Barney and Robin was adorable. But three, so the so the whole finale was a series of flash forwards into like up to like from 2013 up to 2030. So you see Robin and Barney's marriage falling, but at the same time, Ted and Tracy's relationship growing, um, oh, and then. That's... Uh, that's disappointing to me. Yeah. So three years, Barney and Robin get a divorce, and Robin realize there's a moment where Robin, um, there's this locket, and there's this locket that's this big symbol uh, in the se- in this final season, like throughout it. Uh, Robin's locket that she buried in New York one year that she loved, and she was always gonna come back to it um, because it like it was gonna be like something she wanted for a wedding, um, like that relates to her childhood, and she lost it. And she thought, you know, if you know Barney, if Barney was the one, I don't know, somehow he'd find it. Ted actually is the one who finds it and tracks it ah. down. But like, but so there's this whole thing where Ted gives it to Barney to give to Robin, and then like there's this whole thing where Robin says, you know, Ted, maybe I should be marrying you. You're the one who got me the blue French horn. You're the one who found my locket. But then they they still end up where like, no, you know, Barney's the right guy. You know, he comes through in the end. Uh, uh, you know, they realize, you know, she realizes that she, you know, actually does love Barney. But then, th- yeah, three years later, they divorce, and then Robin tell Robin talking to Lily. He's like, Rob, like Lily, I can't hang out with this group anymore because who do we have? We have my married couple with three children. Uh, we have her ex husband. Wait, Barney. wait, okay, real, real quick. What uh, What are the genders of the children? Are um, they all guys? Uh, no, uh, Marshall and Lily have a male and a female, and then one I don't remember. Like she, was, Lily was pregnant. With oh, okay. It. I would say that's hilarious. It's like Marshall won. He got awful. <laughs> He's like he won. <laughs> no, he got if he had a female. Oh, right. Barney has a kid. Okay, so interesting. After um after Barney after Barney and Robin divorce, Barney just he kind of he goes back to his old self. You know, he right, goes, right. which he makes an entire new playbook. Uh, he writes an entire new one, mm-hmm. and he he goes for a perfect month. You know how he had yeah, the perfect, yeah, perfect week. week he goes for a perfect. He he gets the perfect month, but at the very last day, the he gets a girl pregnant. Yeah, number thirty one. He gets the girl pregnant. So he has a daughter named Ellie, and this tr- makes him different. Like he after that, he doesn't hit on women anymore. Like he falls in love with his daughter in like a not a weird way, but I mean, in like a. I don't know. I know, but it uh, makes him grow up. Yeah. Okay, that that's actually pretty cool. But man, fuck! I I wish Barney and Robin. Get, yeah. So Damn. the I, I feel like. Oh, if that had happened like prior to them getting married, that'd be really yeah, cool. Here, here's yeah, here's okay. Here's the whole thing that people are angry about. They spent one, you know, one the one finale, like, like, like the whole the whole show was set up to meet the mother. Like we want to know about the mother. Yeah. And yet they killed like like they you know they they did like like you know little spots of their relationship you know having their kids getting married you know little snippets but they they only spent about like half a minute talking about like her being sick and like dying uh, like like they and so mm-hmm. they they okay. did one episode for the 17 years we wanted to see and they did a whole season about a shitty weekend that didn't even mean anything because robin divorced robin, robin and barney just got divorced th- like three years later yeah mm-hmm. so a lot of people were pissed off about that and so the series ends um with ted oh and this is the really interesting part um Ted has a conversation with his kids about like wanting to act like about the mom being dead and wanting to ask Aunt Robin out again, and the t- the kids like actually have a conversation with him and give him um like like the go like the go ahead because they like Aunt Robin. So the whole story is about 
the whole show is about him asking his kids for their blessing to ask Robin. But this means the kids ask this young. They're still young. They're not old. They had this ending in mind nine years ago. The kids didn't... They, they did this when yeah, the kids were yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting that they had that, yeah. that ending in mind the entire time. And I kind of like that. Uh, I... I kind of, I kind of like that. That I mean, this they knew what at least they knew what they were doing this whole nine years. That they had a pre-recorded ending. And that's well, cool. but that doesn't necessarily like they they had the end point. Um, yeah. But they, I don't feel like they knew exactly how to get to that end. Point. Yeah, exactly. Which, and which, and like, a lot of people, that's what a lot of people are saying. That, that they that to me is a little iffy. That's what they're saying is that they have no problem with the ending. It's how they got to the ending. Yeah. That's um, that 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 it kind of seems like the ending was just thrown in like like pushed too hard. And and it's not because it was it was thrown in. It was just the lead up to it made it seem like it. yeah. Because so like, the lead up and it was so like anti Ted and Robin like please like he's moving on he's getting away and nope the very end scene Ted asks his kids if it's okay to ask out and Robin see, like when you have that it's like no no he's not gonna he's moving up fine hurry up and move the fuck on I don't want I don't care. Can you guess what the what the ending scene was him asking Robin out. If you're a big How I Met Your Mother fan, you know, it's a symbolic... It's been a while. Uh, it's some kind of... I thought it was a French blue horn. Yes, there okay. you go. He, Robin, in 2030, she has five dogs again. She's living in an apartment, <laughs> and he, Ted just shows up with the flu print, the, the blue wow. French horn, and, like, Robin <laughs> smiles, and he smiles, and that's how it ends. Like, yeah. So it's so like... So wait, 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 wait. Is it actually old Ted, or is it Bob Saget? No, no, it's it's old Ted. Oh, yeah, so you, know what the weird, you know what Bob the weird... Saget. When he's having the conversation with his with his children about, like, asking at, asking out Aunt Robin, uh-huh. it's his voice. It's not Bob Saget's God voice. It, this... And they just leave it. Yeah, you don't hear Bob Saget at all in the last episode. It's weird. Like, you don't you don't hear Bob Saget at all. I don't I don't understand what... They just dropped it, or... I don't know if they were going to lip sync it. I, I don't know what else they could have done. It's just, I don't know. That's, uh, that's so weird. Because I, I love how like people are like, Ted, once he gets married, evolves into Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like when you trade Pokemon. They, <laughs> they, just, vowels. they, they dropped his voice. Like yeah. Bob Saget. It was all Ted's voice. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that could kind of play into, like, like I guess, the mental condition or dementia. Thing. Maybe. Uh, uh, but well, yeah. that's a little disappointing. But yeah, but so, I guess I, I think I will just watch it just for you know ending sake. Yeah, I mean it's it's you, it still made me feel, I like I still liked it. I liked how they I just didn't like how they led up to the ending. Right. Um. I like that. It's really sad to think that that he only had ten years with with the mom. Like like you know they you know had two children. They got married like later. They got married like seven years into it. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, but. Oh, well, whatever. So yeah, that was the How I Met Your Mother ending. Um, Mom's dead. He gets back together with Robin. Barney has a kid. Oh, oh um, Marshall becomes um, uh, a, a, a superior court of uh, yeah, like for New York Superior awesome. like State Court. Yeah. yeah. So he's he becomes he becomes uh, Judge Fudge, and then he becomes <laughs> then he becomes Fudge Supreme. I love that. Dude, Judge Fudge, man. If you watched uh, Drawn Together. No, oh no, I have I, well, Okay, like that that's one of my guilty pleasure like <laughs> animated shows. Like I love drawn together. I mean, the movie was absolutely horrible. I didn't know they made a movie, the movie for it. Was, oh fuck, oh, it was God. so terrible. It brought it had none of the feel it, of of the original drawn together. And it's one one thing it's because drawn together was originally all hand drawn mm. whereas the movie was done in flash. Oh really? Like, Weird. But like it was just like man, that's that movie was so disappointing. But uh the the series I love. I love that series to death. Um they they had their own little like side character that was like he was a gag character that come up in a bunch of uh in a bunch of episodes and, then and he he's, he's he's literally a chocolate bar <laughs> and and it was, it was uh, like one of those kind of black exploitation kind of characters yeah. like the really cool it's like his catchphrase was like I'm sorry baby I don't have time to save your cat I'm far too busy being delicious <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I vaguely remember that yeah yeah, okay. yeah. I, I fucking it's so dumb I love that <laughs> but um. But yeah, so that's how I Met Your Mother ended, and um, that's, that's I think... not disappointing. Let's move on to something a lot more hype. Kill a kill. Kill a kill. Oh my it. god! <laughs> oh my god! All of them feels. All of them feels. They, they had to go into space. Like they had to go. Of, I mean, of course. I mean, like Goran Logan, like they had to go into space. Why well, didn't know Goran Logan goes into space? Thank uh, you for dude, ruining that for me. No, I mean, <laughs> it's all you could tell from the beginning. Yeah. But yeah. um, but oh my God, kill the kill. So um, there were some things that I've noticed in Goran Logan that's really cool, and like, and I just had this confirmed with the last um, Gokse, mm-hmm. the last uniform for uh, Gamagori. Mm-hmm. Every Goku uniform that he has is a Marvel character. 
There's a Marvel character. Yeah, his first that one. Gory had? Yeah. If you look at it, the first one, Iron Man. Second one, Juggernaut. The, his final one, Apocalypse. Go look at them. In, and then look at the characters. It is. We're still doing uh, I stuff. Remember. I know. I forgot my keys. I almost <laughs> locked myself out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, they're all Marvel characters. And it's so cool. I was like, that's fucking awesome. Weird. Another thing. Okay, so that's stuff that I noticed on my own. Oh. Uh, things that I that I kind of like read during. Because I actually went. For me, it's weird. Because I actually went on Reddit. <laughs> Just to follow the, the finale thread. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more depth to this than I thought. Um, the reasoning behind um, the name Kill a Kill mm. is, you know, kill. And then the Japanese word for cut is kiru. So kill a kill, hmm. kiru a kiru. Hmm. It's, that, that's really cool to me. But the, the best part that I like that I didn't even notice this is that um, the show is very heavy on fashion, right? Yeah. The Japanese pronunciation of fashion is fashion. The Japanese pronunciation for fascism is fashol. So it's supposed to be interchangeable with each oh, other. That's really cool. And then that's, you're like, oh my god. Like, fascist that, that, fashion, huh? Yeah, it's fascism. Like, really, that's, huh. that's fucking ragyo. Huh. Like, it's fascism. That's really cool. I didn't think about that. And there's so much more to it than, than you initially think. Because you're distracted by, oh my god, this is so hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Fucking oh my god, Senketsu! <laughs> Senketsu! Why did you have to leave? Then I had a tear. Why did you have to kill him? You didn't have to kill him off. Well, it kind of made it's sense. Like, but... It's like it's like it was sad, but then it was that 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 freeze frame for a second with her falling into yeah. the tear after you yeah. Fuck, I'm a little teary eyed right now. <laughs> that and then I love the hilarious gif of um Satsuki going and running really fast. <laughs> Just really. Yeah. That was like out of nowhere and the biggest naked dog pile ever <laughs> and then they start like sleep cuddling naked snuggling. yeah like, oh oh and also uh because they're like all naked so uh. yeah, no, it's, it's sweet like you because it could go way, i like it could go way more etchy than that but one thing that i lost my shit at no the otp is mako and gamagori not mako <laughs> and, and 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 ryuko <laughs> but but then like like people in the thread kind of explain it's like the the term date in Japan is different than here. Yeah, date is like yeah, yeah. just a date. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I, it didn't but, seem but like still, a... But still, it's like like no. <laughs> of course, Gamma Gore. Like you, did, I mean, when you saw the after, Gamma yeah, Gore had flowers. He had flowers. Gamma flowers. flowers for her. I like, yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is weird because isn't he like older? Isn't Gamma Gore? Isn't he like twenty five or twenty four or something? Yeah, he's like I think he's. Well, he's older than Mako. Uh, oh no, no no hang no hang on. He is older than Satsuki by about two years because he held himself back so that he could graduate with her. Oh, yeah. So, and I think Satsuki is a third year, so he's about four or five years older than Mako. Okay, yeah, all right, that makes sense. I think the ending for Ragyo was, like, pulling out her own heart and crushing it. Like, that that's such a good awesome, way to end. Right? And then wearing, wearing a new, like, like making Noi, like, like making her... Nui, become, like, Nui, sacrifice yeah. herself. I was like, To become boom! the life fiber. Like, oh, God. Yeah, and then, like, she's like, oh, you finally can put on a life fiber. Like, oh. Like, like oh, it feels so good to wear you. Like, oh, just a little bit more of, like, subtle incest right there. Subtle? Are you kidding me? I'm <laughs> inside of you. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, and what was that uh... thing? The giant rubber fucking oh. dick? Around the like the antenna thing, yeah. Like, even like when it explodes, it's like little like cum shot. Yeah, I know, things. I like, know. Oh god. Oh, and I've got to tell Settle you right as now, always. Gamagori, his fi- his finishing move, straight up Gurren Logan. With, with the face, yeah, yeah that, the face that, on the yeah. That yeah, is I, straight up I see Gurren Logan. I see that. Like fuck, that's Gurren Logan. Gets a like he gets his face on his chest and fires chest faces. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. <laughs> and then when he dies I was like no or like he supposedly died I was like no yeah that was weird like oh you know I had armor so I was fine but you fucking no. fainted <laughs> yeah no well cause that, that's smart of him cause you know he had, he had to look for the opening yeah and, and like um if you recall back when he, they did his backstory he did that's what his oh thing that's true. he used to have armor yeah that's so true. like that that was cool but I was just like no gamagori <laughs> <laughs> and oh man all the Goku uniforms are so cool yeah. Oh fucking um oh 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 the the DTRs combining together. Yeah, that was <laughs> and weird. then it instantly got destroyed. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. I um what I found really funny was what's fuck what's the pink haired chick's name? What's her name again? Oh the, uh, uh no no yeah no no what's that little thing covering her crotch? How does that stay there? There is there is that, there is a thing uh, with Asian cultures where it was supposed to protect your chastity. 
was you have like a slip of paper that like it goes under your underwear. But how does that stay that there's no under there's no strap it's just there. It's just a little like paper thing like covering your crotch but there's no strap for it. That confused me more than anything. Just like, really that that, that confused that, you. That that confused that me more confused than anything. You in a world of anime yes. with revealing yes. clothing. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck were those three little strips that did nothing <laughs> right above it? I just I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay, 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 real quick. I have a question for you. Besides yeah. the OTP Gamagori Mako, yeah. what, what other couples would you like to see? Uh, well, Wincest all the way, so Riko <laughs> and, Sat- and, and Satsuki. Oh. Okay, I would have liked that before I found out they were sisters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, fuck. Well, so, okay, I'm, uh, and, and, uh, and Satsuki would have been cool. Um, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people the, were pushing for Aikuro and, and uh, Ryuko, the teacher. That would have been weird, though. It, 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 it kind of makes sense. In, it, 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 it makes sense in, in anime context. That there's think, a lot of anime. I, I didn't like think their, ca- their relationship in the, at, at all alluded to that in the, the show. Oh, no, but again, people were, were pushing for that. Weird. Yeah. I don't know. Like, weird teacher, student. Well, because it's like Sundere. Like, you know, like... She pretends like she doesn't like it. Oh, fuck up. You know, that kind uh, of like... Yeah, yeah good, that, 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 that's a big trope. Yeah. Anyway. So, like, that that's what people were pushing for. I'm glad they didn't. I was like, nah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm glad they didn't. Um, <laughs> other... Fuck, I can't really think I, of I always, I always thought, like, like he, he and Sumugo had a weird gay relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was like, oh, that's cool. I would have... I, yeah, fuck, I can't even... I can't really think of, besides Gamagori, I mean, if maybe, like... Nanan and Satsuki, because like there's some weird relationship yeah. there. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, w- I would say I'd take Ryuko Satsuki before that, or even a Sanagayama and Satsuki before that. I think, you know, my favorite couple? Fucking Ragyo and Satsuki. Is Hot. that really a couple or more just rape? <laughs> Either way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Ragyo is the fucking demented. Yeah, seriously. Oh my like, gosh. Fuck, her final, f- her final form was Gurren Lagan too. Really? Like, fuck. It's so Gurren Lagann. How's it Gurren Lagann? Like, the design. Like, you need to watch Gurren Lagann. Like, all of it. Like, I get Gamagories already. Like, I get that. But I don't see the final... You, 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 have, to, you have to watch uh, okay. Gurren Lagann. It's like, oh my god, that's straight up Gurren Lagann. And then once again, proving that spirals, like, are, <laughs> are the savior of mankind. Spirals? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of spirals in, in Kill a Kill. Huh. There's a shitload of spirals. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I would say go watch it again. But, uh... Yeah, I like it. <laughs> great, great ending. Um, and you know what's really cool? I love the fact that they used all the theme songs. They used oh, every theme yeah. song. It was so cool. And then they used the original one for the ending. Like, ah, oh, <laughs> I felt all the feels from that. <laughs> and then um, uh, it's cool because in the original ending, it pretty much showed what would happen. Like, because if you look, her outfit and all the stuff that she is exactly the same at the very end of this episode it's exactly the same to all the original endings for the like the first half of the season. Hmm. Interesting. Like, it's really cool. It's like, oh, that makes sense. Hmm. That's really cool. <laughs> um, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Is there anything else I can? Uh, the scissor blade. She put the scissor blade together. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's cool. I think it's cool uh, that she absorbed all of the life fibers around her. Yes, Does that makes sense. Because I was wondering the whole yes. time, like, what did that like give yeah, me yeah, the yeah, one life they fiber? Explain, uh, yeah, I like that. And then like how she was able to it. reverse it into her. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That made that made a lot. I was really happy that they that they. Yeah, and that. I like the idea that um that they're neither of them belong to either group, and yet they belong to them. Yeah, like it was like it was a weird contradictory statement, but it makes sense. Yeah, like and you're like, not clothes, you're not human, but we're both. Yeah, Kinda. and it's like yeah, it was just man, trigger, trigger slash team girl knows how to like build those hype moments. Yeah, like fuck, oh, it's so hype. <laughs> <laughs> like if you if you think this is hype, wait till Gurren Logan. Mm. Like, fuck. <laughs> um, real quick, like like. Do you, uh how how long is like how has it been recently since you watched Gurren Lagann or I think I watched the fourth episode like a few days ago. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, slowly... sub, subbed or dubbed? Uh, <laughs> dubbed. Go 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 subbed, to kiss, go yeah. kiss anime and watch and watch sub. Subbed. Yeah, um, I need to. Like uh, <laughs> the, the let, dub let is just like come on, bro. Come on, then no, it's really gonna neat. pierce the heavens. And it's like, oh no, no 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 no, that's badass. But it's the way that they say it yeah. is terrible. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, yours is the drill that will pierce the heavens. Like that's so good. But the way they say it in the English dub is terrible. Yeah, that's what I bet. Like like I, I the voice acting is terrible. Um, <laughs> what's it called? Kamina. Kamina. Fuck, you cannot have Kamina be anybody but Japanese. Like he's 
he's one of the most badass characters to be created within the past ten years. Mm. Like, fuck. Manly man, you know, I never run from battles. Uh, he's like, no, no, <laughs> he, straight, he straight up says, like when uh, he's staring at uh, at Yoko, he's like, it is a man's duty to stare at the woman's beautiful form. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, like, we're not watching. gonna deny you that. I keep, my brother. Uh, my brother's really into anime, and I I told him like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to watch Grimmer Logan right now. He's just like, eh. And I was just like, huh, interesting. He needs the fuck <laughs> right the fuck off the edge of my you know, dick. It's, it's interesting because his favorite anime is Code Geass, which is why I watched it. Uh, so now I watch I watch uh, his favorite anime. Now I'm watching your favorite uh, anime. Uh, um, what's that one anime that's really weird? Uh, it's like a mech one. Uh, there's like a chick with red hair and a chick with blue hair. Um, they're both, ah, fuck, I don't even know. That's a lot of anime. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Uh, but it's like uh... it's very trippy. It's very kind of. I think it's mech kind of. Um, fuck, it's very popular. Mecha, uh, I can't. Fucking not not Evangelion. Oh, that's it. That's Evangelion. It. Yeah. That one I never really got into. There was too much like animal bullshit. He doesn't like. Yeah, he doesn't like that one either. There, there was too much like. I'm convicted. But, I am like this, but this one character. A lot of people say it's like the best anime. Yeah, that's what people say. Um, I just wanted more mech stuff. Like I was like, Shh, I don't care about you people. Just give me more <laughs> mech stuff because because the design for Ava is so cool. Like, oh, it's so good. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. Like yeah, you like the hype power for for Kill a Kill, honestly pales in comparison to Gurren Logan. Mm. Gurren Logan is so much bigger. Mm. Like. It doesn't. It's were not you, quite as fast. Were, were you uh, were you upset that it didn't reach no, that? No, no, no. It was just like um, because it, it had been a while since I had watched Gurren Logan. When I watched Killer Kill, I'm like, this is fucking hype. And really, it, you know, it's half of the team of uh, Team Gurren, so yeah. I I was fine with that. It was just like, man, I forgot how fucking awesome Gurren Logan is. <laughs> like, I was just like, I forgot about the scope of this shit. It's awesome. It's so it's very interesting to to for me to hear you and my brother because you guys both don't dislike each other's favorite animes. It's like, I, I it's think it's because like I'm, I don't religiously follow anime. He does. He, okay, see so that that's all, two yeah. sides of the coin. He like, watches not, it all. It's his, like, like it's what he watches. Is he a weeb? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Does he does he cosplay and stuff? He goes to anime expos, but he doesn't really cosplay now. But he watches. Oh, uh, does like, does he speak? Japanese? No. no. Okay, well, he's, he's, not, really he's, not, he's not so much of a weeb. He's just kind of an otaku, but... Yeah. He um he just told me to watch uh, Fate Day Slash Night. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know anything I, about I, it. I know, I know a little bit about it. I didn't really watch it. Like, I, I will watch something that is fucking hype yeah. more than anything that's like... um, like I'm, No, I, I, I take that back. I will watch a good anime. Hmm. Um, like, because, like, Attack on Titan and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... um Shall we move on to Walking Dead spoilers? Oh yeah, we'll do Walking Dead and we'll be done. Um, so I'm not too up and up on the Walking Dead show. Oh, uh, my dad watches, but like I'm fine listening about it because I feel like you want to talk about it a little bit. Maybe our listeners want to hear about it. Uh, yeah. Um, they. You, oh fuck. Okay, so Walking Dead. If anyone's seen the finale, is anybody else fuck out there thinking cannibals right now? Because this is what happens. Um, they. Uh, mid-season finale, the prison gets taken over. The governor brings right, in right, a tank. Right, right. They have to, like, go out. So the whole season, I didn't like it that much at first because it was following the individual groups as they're separated. And right, they're right. Trying to my, find, yeah. Okay, like, like, like uh, my, my experience from this, from the show, yeah. is going to come from my dad. Because my dad recently just got into, like, uh... In, into Walking Dead. And he does, like, what I do. He marathons it. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he's, he's all caught up now. Um... He was. He said he was a little disappointed in the end because he was saying there's too many flashbacks of Herschel, where he wanted more story development to happen. You know, I didn't mind that, that there were the flashbacks of Herschel because um, the the reason for it is uh, Rick's mentality. So right. Rick spent um, the the this fourth season trying to get away from being crazy and brutal, and he wanted to Herschel tried to like get him to farm, and so he could teach uh, Carl right because right, Carl. Right, right, right. Carl shot a kid, and, and Herschel saw it, and so Herschel was like, "Rick, you have to show your boy, you know, what's not, you know, right." So, you know, the, and what happens is, uh, um, in the in the season finale, is um, Rick and Michonne and and Carl are, you know, they're camping, and they get 
um, caught up by this group um, that that Rick killed one of their guys before because they, they, right, they yeah. right. So so they go to like like one guy. There's like okay, first we're gonna beat Daryl to death because Daryl was in their group and Daryl tried to vouch for him, but they're like, no, fuck you. We're just gonna beat you to death. And then they're like, okay, so we're gonna beat Daryl to death. We're gonna rape the girl. We're gonna then <laughs> rape your son and then kill you. And so at that point, Rick, you know, Rick has been trying to keep in like his demons and try to like stay civil. But at that point. He just, he breaks. And so, and this happens in the comic book, so it was really cool to see it. Uh -huh. um, so, so they're holding, one kid, ha or one of the guys has Carl down and is taking off his pants. So shit's getting intense. Right. Uh, and they're beating Daryl to death. So then he's, the, so then the main guy, like, like, beats down Rick, and then, like, Rick, he's like, what are you gonna do now, boy? And so Rick, with nothing else to, like, do, just opens his mouth and bites out his jugular. Like, right there. And that, you see I mean, blood is coming. That, is that really cannibalism? Because that is something that, um, I honestly... No, okay, no, 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 no. That's not cannibalism. That's, I'll, I'll get to that. Oh, oh, that's oh, just, oh okay. That's okay. just Rick's brutality that's coming awesome. out. And so, yeah, so Carl sees that. Everyone else is just standing there like, what the fuck? And you have blood seeping out of Rick's mouth, yeah, right. and it's intense and awesome. And so the whole thing about Herschel's flashbacks during that episode mm -hmm. are like... Rick was trying to get away from that brutal side, but it just came pouring out. And okay, it, and okay, cool. So, that, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Then. So Rick and Carl and like everyone kind of realizes like, okay, there is this brutal side to all of us, okay. and instead of trying to hide it, we should yeah, accept yeah, yeah. it. Well, I was gonna ask like, how many flat? Was it one long one or was no, it multiple ones? It was like two or three. Okay. Like, well, one I think at the, I think, I think the, the thing end, is, is because middle. because you watched it on a regular basis as they came out, and my dad marathoned it. He had so much more of Herschel already okay. that I was like, I've yeah. seen enough of Herschel. Like you don't, like you know, it's it's a different experience yeah. when you watch it like all at once. That so. makes sense. I didn't mind Singer because I miss Herschel. Like, like he he, he liked it, but like, he just wanted a little bit more like yeah. development in the story and didn't really care for all the flashbacks with Herschel. So here's the th here's my theory about cannibal, and I might be wrong, but here's my theory about the cannibals. So they're walking to sanctuary, right? Um, they're walking to sanctuary. That's supposed to safe haven, right? Yes, yeah, supposedly a safe haven. And so you see in the in the previous episode, Glenn's group gets there, and so they're like, "Oh, welcome to sanctuary. You guys are fine." And there there's this woman cooking meat there, and this, I think, okay, that's 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 weird. So Rick, Rick and Michonne and Daryl and Carl get there, and they see like they think everything's fine and they're going to be accepted, but they see that the people are wearing like one guy has Glenn's or uh, yeah, Glenn's riot gear on. One guy has Herschel's watch, and so Rick takes one like and like like gets a gun to his head and's like. Why do you have this stuff? Like, what is this? And they right. make a bullshit. And he knows that this is his group's gear. Yeah. So one of them gets shot in the head, uh, and they go and they go running. Like they go running through the town, but they shoot. So so instead of like everyone, like the whole town doesn't kill them. They shoot at their feet, no, trying not to kill them. Oh. To lead them to this bunker. Like they lead them to the bunker and they force them into the to to walk into this bunker that they're gonna lock them into. They force them. Like they gun them, they they corner them. So they're, they're gonna catamite. They're gonna exactly. make them catamite. Exactly. So and then they walk in there, and then there is Glenn and their group, and they're all just they're they're holding them there. And the only reason I can think to keep them alive, and why they're there's that moment where they're cooking meat, like always yeah, cooking hey, meat. No, no, no. Cannibals. I, I I would I would agree with you, like without saying that I would agree with you 100 percent because you see that in the Walking Dead video game. Yeah, no, yeah, and in the um and in the uh, the comic book, there's I mean there's not oh, this. Yeah, and it's like it's like. You you have to think that in a zombie apocalypse that that's gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. Which is so I'm so glad they're getting to that because that's fucking the that's all, all the when they get into the cannibalism that's the most and horrifying aspect of the game yeah, of the comic did, book. Did, you save uh, Clementine before she ate it, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, there's no fucking way she's yeah. gonna be eating that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, so I I can't wait to let. I really hope they go with the cannibal. Um, in the comic book, there's not like a big sanctuary of cannibals, but there is a moment where. They try to, uh, they try, they eat, um, Dale. Dale's actually lives longer in the comic book, but then they, they, they chop off his legs and then they, and then they, you know, leave him to die. Um, okay, wait, real quick though. Yeah. It's a separate universe, right? Separate it's universe. Yeah. Separate universe. That sort of follows. Yeah. Them. It sort of follows. Um, but there's this like intense moment where like the Campbell's sneak, they got Rick and Michonne and like all of them. And then Rick and them are just like, you guys don't know who the fuck you're messing with. And then just kill the fuck out of the cannibals. And that's kind of how this, uh, the, the season finale leads. Rick's last lines are like, well, you know, they're, <laughs> they don't, they're, they're going to be sorry. And then everyone's like, why are they going to be sorry? And then Rick turns and just like, they don't know who the fuck they're messing with. And then nice. it ends. And it's like, oh, awesome. Can't wait. Dude, that sounds awesome. So um, for a very, for a very slow season like this half season because huh? there's been very little plot development it's just been following the characters as they're walking the sanctuary but very little actual plot i really liked how that ended dude that uh, see it's like 
I have so much other things I need to catch up on. <laughs> I would like to get into Walking Dead. Breaking Bad first. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that after we graduate. Yeah. Speaking of which, I think we just got shit booked for a, a graduation trip. I'm going to Costa Rica. Oh, very yeah. cool. Oh, awesome. End of May, I guess I got to get that off. Um, <laughs> fuck, I'm taking so many days off of work, but I hope my <laughs> boss understands. Um, yeah, awesome. I think that'll uh, that'll end spoiler alert. Yeah. We may have been, this, this may be a segment that uh, happens occasionally. Yeah. Depending on what happens. We might need to gush about things. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, whenever we need to gush, we will create a spoiler alert section. Um, so, real quick, uh, I guess we'll wrap it up with what we're going to be doing later on this week. Um, again, we have the second half of this podcast uh, coming... Well, it's not going to be released Friday, but we're going to be doing it on Friday. Damn, and this was already an hour and a half in. Dude, we, well, oh, the, crap. the spoiler alert was about 30 minutes. Hour, yeah, all right, there you started go. about an hour. Yeah. Uh, um, poor Preston's been walking outside for half an hour. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure he's been coming back up listening and then walking back down. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking calm. All right. But, um, yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, so we will uh, be having some shit up. Um, yeah, thank you very much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.